right, she's here. She is in the building doing a thing. Bonfire, what's up, beautiful? What's going on? I'm here in the building. Yes, you are. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Okay, so you know, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a DJ. Mm-hmm. DJs, we need hits. Right. We need dope records. Yep. We get really excited when we get something new, mm-hmm. and it sounds really good. Mm-hmm. Your music on fire. Thank you so much. Straight me dope. I mean, dope. Good music, yo. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so we want we want to get to know you. Uh, so so so, where are you from? First of all, where are you from? I'm from Chickabee, Massachusetts. Okay, all right, all right. And yep. and and then you were making and correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. You were making some music. You was putting it on. You was putting it on YouTube. Can you kind of walk me there, tell me the yeah, story? Yeah, I mean, you got discovered. Yeah. My my background, like I come from a family of entertainers, so I was okay. always kind of like performing as a little girl, like. Yeah. My aunt and uncle owned a Polynesian show at this okay. place called the Hookie Lao in Chicopee. And it was like the hot spot. Like they had comedians and everything, but yeah. we had a Polynesian show every week. Okay. So that's where I really first started, like, you know, performing and yeah. stuff. It yeah. was kind of like my aunt, my aunt and uncles were, you know, the show. My mom was in it. My cousins, like we all were. It was like Jackson oh, 5. Right. It was like, you know, <laughs> Selena, you know what I'm saying? Like right, kind of right. like that kind of right. thing. So I grew up with it, but... You know, I felt like at the age I was, like, 15, 14, was doing what every other 14, 15-year-old was doing, was putting up covers on YouTube. Yeah. And I was just putting it up, whatever. I didn't have my own material at the time. I was just mm-hmm. doing, doing what covers. I loved. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of your favorite artists, right. Yep. And then, like, um, a promoter actually reached out to me. He was like, yo, I think you're really dope. Like, do you want to come perform at my club in uh, New York? And I was like, yeah. I was so excited because mm-hmm. I ain't never did that before. And how were you when you got the call? I was about, like... <laughs> 18. 18, okay. Yeah, I was okay. young. Um, and I was like, yeah, so I went. But through that little thing that I did, it connected me with my manager, Raf- um, Yancey, which okay. is great. They're like best friends, Raphael Sadiq. So Raphael reached out to me like the next day and he was like, yo, I think you're phenomenal. He reached out to me like via Twitter and I was like, Pfft. Yeah, you that was like, is not even no. It's that's not, not him. Right <laughs> and you had to keep checking it and checking it. Yep. No, it's yep. Yep. Wow. No, but he called me, and then like the next day, they flew me out to Atlanta. We had a little, a little like meet and greet, and that's mm-hmm. all she wrote. I moved, like um, I bought a like a year later. Yeah. I moved to Atlanta, and I was back and forth from Atlanta to California, like for the like, making music and, and, and the next yeah, yeah, performing five over years. Up. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. dope. That's dope. Yeah. Then, where, where'd you get your name from? It's funny, when I first moved to Atlanta, like, everybody was, I didn't work with many people. Okay. And they would, like, you know, the people that I work with, they would always ask me, like, what I wanted my music to sound like. Mm -hmm. And I would always describe it to them as a bonfire. Because to me, like, you mark memories at a bonfire. Mm -hmm. That shit feels good. It don't matter where you are. You could be at a beach. You could be at your auntie's house, like, around the fire. It don't matter where you are. But most importantly, you mark memories and those are forever and I wanted my music to like resonate that way to people so I just started calling myself the bonfire after that yeah yeah great name thank you yeah and 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 the music is amazing I mean instantly you put it on you hear the beat the vibe Mm -hmm. and uh you know yeah that's what's up definitely definitely so 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 now so now you're with Fantasia Mm -hmm. you're touring with her you're touring Robin Thicke how how has this been it's an experience it's it's um I never knew tiredness, like being tired. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I thought I knew before, but yeah. sh- I don't now know. Now you like, yo, know. yo. I'm yeah. like, oh, hold on. I got yeah. bags. I just got all these things going on that I'm right. not used to at my young age. I'm like, hold on. Like, my back kind of <laughs> hurting. I got aches and pains. But <laughs> it's, I mean, overall, I mean, yeah. you take the good with the bad. It's a great experience. Yeah. Like, is, it, is, this, is this the first the first big tour? Yeah, this okay. is my first. Yeah. This is my first tour in general okay you know okay. so yeah. it's it's a beautiful experience for me like fantasia she she is literally like a blessing but yeah. she is just crazy like i literally i watch her damn near every night yeah. you know and yeah. it's just she's phenomenal robin yeah. tank they're yeah. all like crazy performers so like for me like being my first time like really being on tour for me to be able to watch them mm-hmm. you know and just kind of have like a bird's eye view like damn like it's dope, you know. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm in front of greats, you know, and right. It's just cool. And 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 you 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 know, like you on your way to like 
big things, major things. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I can see that, you know. And you hear it in the music. And I was was looking at some of the behind the scenes. You all are having so much fun Mm -hmm. off stage behind the scenes. Y'all are clowning getting it in. Look, they're a goof. First of all, (laughs) Tank is a goofball. Robin, too. They're even Fantasia. Like, they're all hilarious. And me, like, I'm I'm goofy, like, all the time. So we kind of just were like peanut butter and jelly. We just all, (laughs) (laughs) we all get to laughing and stuff. And it's just never ending. But, Yeah. yeah, it's fun. I'm having a, an amazing time. Well, 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 keep doing what you do. Uh, I'm just just happy to see you. Thank you. Know, you know, making your music and 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 rocking the radio and the parties. And yeah. tonight we're gonna do it yeah. real big on yeah. stage. So we are. Yeah. I can't wait to check you out. Yeah, for Bonfire sure. Bonfire on the show one time. <laughs>